Beth. I'm Michael. And today we're going to check out X Nipped. <laughs> X Nipped. This is not Six Nipped. This is not Six Nipped. It's in the family of the Nipped family of games. From Amigo. Amigo. Now, honestly, right off the bat, this is probably my favorite Nipped game. For two to four players. Yeah. Yeah, so it doesn't play as many as Six Right, nips. right. Because Six so that's plays important up to, like, to know. 10 or something, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, the version on BGA just plays, ten. does not play 10. Pretty the sure. version on BGA does not play 10, I don't I'm think. I'm pretty sure it does. Anyway, it I plays to, a lot. To, yeah, I used to play it a bunch on BGA, and I just remember it. So, I've got th these wonderfully printed out rules here. Because <laughs> we don't have English rules in this game. So... For those of you who don't understand uh, what Six Nymphed is, Six Nymphed is a game where you are trying to avoid catching the bull. <laughs> because the more bull heads you have, the worse. So, cards like 17 are not a big deal um, because it has one bull head on it. Um, oh, this doesn't have the same rules with the, with the fives though, right? Where's the, where's the bad one? Like, 55 was, like, the super bad one? Yeah, I don't... I don't, I don't guess it's... not it's, the same deck. So. It's not... It's, no, it's not the same deck. What I'm saying is, is that... Okay, so... Um, cards with uh, multiple of something. I'm not sure what it is. It's got two bullheads. Cards with a multiple of 10. Three bullheads, as you can see. There's, like... 99 has five bullheads. Uh, so, I think... Yeah, the cards with double digits, I think, are not good. And I think that that's also true with Six Nymphed. Anyway, you want to avoid catching bullheads. So, normally in Six Nymphed, whenever you fill up a column, then you have to take all the cards in that column. Yeah. And then you're starting basically a new column, and you bank all of those bullheads. In X Nymphed, it's slightly different. When you take all of the cards that are, go ahead and switch to the overhead, you will take all the cards in the row, and then let's say that these were the cards in the row, 40, 50, and this is actually horrible to take. <laughs> I play this, oops. Um, so, I would take these four cards, this will become the new first card in the row, right? So, it's as soon as you play the card that yeah. matches this number, you then take the rest. One of them you will put in your X row, and the other ones you will take into your hand. Mm. So, now, the ones in your X row are fine, except um, if you cannot legally place the card in your X row, then you must take all of the cards in the X row and put it in your X pile. The X pile is what gets scored two negative points per bullhead. You get one negative point for every bullhead in your hand. The ones in your X row will not affect you. <laughs> but if you put them there, you're going to risk putting them in your X pile. That's right. Right? It's tricky. And that's exactly what you don't want to happen. Oh, my God. You so, went there. Yeah, I went there. So I'm going to have some cards. Steph's going to have some cards. We're each going to choose one. Uh, actually, there will be three of them down here, right? So this is just a sample turn. I'm going to take one card and I'm going to put it down like this. And she's going to take a card. She's going to put it down like this. We're going to reveal at the same time. 29 to 6. We Can can you hold a second? Yep. So, these are the cards we played. We are going to go in numerical order. So, uh, normally they need to go uh, in the uh, where they can be played with the smallest difference. I can't put this 29 on this 60. I can't put it on this 82. If there were like a... If her six were down here somewhere in this 19, I'd have to put it in front of the 19 because it's the closest without going over. But hey, where does Steph put it? She put a six out here. So she already started off with a little exception to the rule. She gets to take any of these rows she wants and replace that card with her six. She's obviously going to take the one with the small, number one with the smallest bullet, number two with the smallest number that she can put in her X row because once you can't, once she can't legally play an, an, an ascending value in that X row, she must take them as X points. So if I if I played like a three right now, I might actually take the 60 instead of the six, so I wouldn't have to put the six here and score that. 
It just depends on how risky I think I'm going to be. So with this 29, I must place it here. So you really don't have much control about where it goes. When you play with increasing numbers of players, you have less control over things. And so some people have a knock on six nymph and X nymph that they might be a bit too random for them. I think there's a lot more strategy than people, than some people say. So yeah, we got one guy in our gaming group that refuses to play six nymph because of how random he thinks it is. I think there's a lot of strategy. I think there is game. as well because you can play with people who know the game and always lose. Yes. So there's more to it there, than people. There meet has the eye. to be. <laughs> so yeah. So we start out with how many? You tell me how many. I'll go ahead and shuffle these. <laughs> they do sell this in the U.S. in a combined edition with Six Nymph. I didn't know that. Are the cards the same? Because the cards are not the same in X Nymph and Six Nymph. So it says eight numbered cards to each player. Eight, and got it. Three, and then three. three here. Brad says a good. Uh, he agrees a good amount of strategy in this. His group's been enjoying Six Nymph on BGA lately. I think it's two different decks. He says okay. Fifty three, fifty four, eighty six. Yeah. In this order. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to change. No, them. we do. I did not. I did, yeah. and then I did not. Eight each. Yep. Three, three. We go until one player is out of cards. We play two rounds. Whoever has the worst at the end of that, I need to get some paper out, I guess. All right, give me the pen, please. And so I will be ready to go. 53, 54, ouch, yeah. So having consecutive numbers like that is really bad. Plus starting out so freaking high. It's really bad. This is not great. Oh, uh, that's an 86. Wow. This is all not good at all. Probably turn it the right way for your viewers. Yep. Yep. Woo. Ooh, it's looking a little rough. Sixty-seven. That's too bad. That's a one for me. That's a sixty-seven for you. So the fifty-four doesn't go in my hand. It goes in my X pile though. Wow, you are a ruiner of dreams right there. <laughs> well, I didn't know you're gonna go play a one. <laughs> well, I didn't know you're gonna play a sixty-seven. All right, there's your 69. Here's, I take it. You take it. Here's my 85 right there. Put that one right there. That looks good. That does look It looks rather fantastic. This is bad. Is it? This is not great. Oh. Uh, ooh, ooh. Ah, ooh, uh, ooh. Uh, this is not good. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go with this. Let's go with this. What you got? Seven. I learned. There you go. Woof. Woof. Yes, six nymph plays up to ten. Yeah, I remembered that. Oh, uh, I guess I have to play that. Huh. How about your ten? Yep. And then you take? Yep. Hey, look at that. That's not bad. And that goes in your hand, and this goes here. Then I'm in problems. Are you? Yep. I can see the problems. Um... Mm. 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 Thank you. And that sucked. That was really good. You had a lot of low cards. Well, yeah. That's the question. Where do you put that? Because he might want to take this row and take the 70 on top of the 69 over here. Mm hmm. But then that leaves three in my hand. The yeah. other way also leaves three in my hand, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The problem also with taking this is that I've got a lot of cards that Are will really then, high and then the well, same number, well, and it'll I'll end up taking that again anyway. So 
or something like it. So I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and take this, throw the four in there, sadly. Um, I need to put one of these in this row. It will uh, definitely be the 70. I'm gonna have to put my cards off a little you, you bit. You could also do like this. Except and then you can't see my bullheads. Mm. So no. I will not. Uh, no. Well, that was actually bad. I shouldn't have done that. I'm screwed. You can take it back if you want. Mm, I'm thinking about it. I could probably put the 85 here and just keep the 70 in my hand because I'm, I'm fairly sure I'm going to take on this, which hurts my heart a little bit. Yeah. You're 28, my 37. And that's where I, that's where it all falls apart. So I put the 10 here, I put the 35 in my hand, and I put all this stuff in my X-Pile, which you don't even have an X-Pile. Not yet. No. It's all in a matter of a minute. Is it? Probably. I could see my impending doom. And 53 goes there, oh, 67 goes so there. Me. This is not good. Six Nip does play up to 10. Dan confirms. Ninety-eight. Wow. That could pay off. Probably not. Uh, 35 must go here. This comes off. I must put the 28 down if I hope to live. Whoops, those are my X deck. And this is where I doom. Doom? Yes, that is your doom, isn't it? And I'll just put the 70 there. Yeah, I could see my doom from a mile away. Boop. Um, I could put it there. Then you would 53 it. Yeah. I mean, it goes better in your lineup, but it yeah. It does go better in my lineup, just barely better in my lineup. Seven and 67, so I can choose one of these to take, and so... Um, it's not going to hurt you any, so I will just take the 95 and put it in my pile, in my row, rather. So, nothing in my hand, only stuff on my X oh, pile, I... which is eight for me. Because I have four, four heads, that you guys can't see it. Four heads, so that's eight points for me. Steph has... Two and eight, which is ten. Two and eight, what? Two. My hand is two. Your hand is two, and your X pile is eight, which is ten. It's eight to ten. Wow. Yeah. That's a tight game so far. I thought you, like, had me ruin that game. No. <laughs> I, I knew I, I had to take that. You, you, like, when you had, like, a one and a three in, in your X pile, I'm like, I'm so screwed. Not nearly sc as screwed as I thought I was. Uh, that's where I play cards, so we might need to just find a spot, a home for it. Because that's where I play cards, too. Because there's no other room to play cards on my side of the table. So that they can see it. What's well, at the end of the round? Having no more cards in my hand. Um, the thing is, every time you 
take a row of cards, one goes into your X, po in X row, the rest go into your hand. So as soon as I got down to zero once already, and then took you know, three cards into my hand. So yep, that's what happened. That kept the round going, so yeah. All right, one, two, three. That's horrible. Oh, God. My that's 87, 88. <laughs> that five row is going to stay there for forever. Well, why yeah. would people? Yeah, I suppose. Wow. Oh, it's so bad. It's not great, let me tell you. Round two of two. Fight. Oh, this would be funny. So this is good for grins, if nothing else. <laughs> really? Uh, <laughs> it's good for grins, if nothing else. Your card dealing is as bad as your dice rolling. Probably. Burn. 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 <laughs> <laughs> wow, what to do now though? <laughs> now that I've burnt the you, cities. You ruined it. Like why? Now that I've ruined it all, I'm the ruiner of ruiners. Yeah, you are. Uh I'm not taking the 88, that's for sure. <laughs> that's not a good card to have <laughs> there. Nope. <laughs> Don't really have much of a cho uh, 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 choice about it, though. <laughs> this is bad. Yeah, well. This is not great. Forty-three. Eighty seventy-eight. That's a big number. Yeah, it's not great. I got a lot of cards in my hand. That's also not great. Yeah, I see. I mean, <laughs> this is all bad. It's all bad. I mean, there is no good here. Nope. Good <laughs> luck. <laughs> I see a play, but it would ruin me. I mean. Good. It's your fault. 83. So it all depends on where I put this, I guess. Yep. No, it isn't because it's going to go here anyway. It does not matter. That's Unless true. I take that. Oh, well, that's true. And then it's going to go here anyway. Yep. I think I may do this and I will ditch the 87. Yes. And take the six. Eat those cards. No, I'm not doing that one. I'm doing this one. Wow. So I guess I'm putting the 61 right here. Yep. Next to that. That'll do that. 25. You get to take one. And I'm putting my 84 right here. Yep. Oh, yeah, you can take that. It's fine. Sadly. Good luck. Good luck. Thirty. Mm. Ow. Oh, man. This is no good. 
Oh boy. Okay. Hold on, I'm still I'm choosing a card to put in yep. this thing. Uh yep. Choose your fate. That could be bad. Okay. Like any of this. Nope. It's all bad thanks to you. Well, it's not my fault, but really. Kind of your fault. Nah. You first. Mm. <laughs> mm. No. This is bad. Bad, bad, bad. Bad, 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 bad. Bad bird. Bird. Bad bird. Mm. All right, 30. I've got to take that. Good job. Ooh, that's interesting. Hold on. Oh, that's going to be bad, I think. Five hours of streaming, of course. We usually do five or more hours of streaming on our Wednesday and Friday, uh, Wednesday and Sunday night gamings. Yep. I said to bed before the sun goes up this time. Night's bloody. Night's bloody. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, five hours is pretty much our average. Doesn't matter. Probably no. Well, it sort oh, of matters. Oh, that should It do that. does matter. Oh, wait, wait, I wait. forgot they were all going to go to my hand. I thought I was just going to get a card here. No, because nah, your hand. That's fine. I'll let you is, take it back. This is better. Take back, sees. This is better. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I still lose. It doesn't matter. <laughs> nine, had, nine points. I had a whopping two points. And you had oh. nine 10 to 19 is a low, low, low score. With more players, it gets crazy. Uh, well, it was this was crazy enough, wasn't it? I mean, yeah, that was... Yeah, I really like this game. It's it's deeper than... Six Nymphed, for it's, sure. Yeah, and it's deeper than most people expect. So... <laughs> yeah. I like this one. Yep, it's, it's, it's definitely a keeper. Not that you would ever get rid of this. No. I found it at the BGG flea market. Yeah, check this out. Used to be a library copy. Scratch, <laughs> scratch, scratch. So uh, during BGG spring, they have what is called the library sale, right? Where they take, you know, a lot of times they'll start off with multiple copies of a game and they will, they track library usage. And if something doesn't get checked out of the library, they call out, uh, Copies that aren't played a lot. So, if something, if they have multiple of X nymphed and people don't check it out, it's if it's never, if never two copies are checked out at the same time, they'll sell one of them and then give all of the money to a local charity, which has been I don't remember the name of it, but it's three uh, years now. what three years now for three for two years yeah. because we've only had two and we were gonna have a third, but 2020 got canceled. Oh, but I did it online. I did it on BGG. Oh, they did have it on. So, yeah. So, oh, yeah, that's right. I remember because then they shipped the games to you. Yeah. But they support a local charity there where it's it's like um, a cooking school for uh, for uh, inner city and underprivileged kids, usually, I believe. I I, do I have like that, that right? Yeah, I think it's so. It's like cafe. Cafe something yeah, or other. Momentum. Cafe momentum. That's it. And so I think that I think that is it. But you can you you can find yeah. If you take that off, it's gonna be really bad. It's gonna leave sticky stuff underneath. You watch. Uh, I'm gonna watch. 
Oh, wow. It's coming off clean, unlike most of the library stickers. Yeah, that it one's coming off clean. It doesn't clean. always. It but doesn't it's always. And I'm like, game. why are you doing this? I'm doing it because... <laughs> and it I worked. Could, I could see it. I could see that. Oh, well, now it's no longer a BGG library copy. Now it's my copy. Wow. Yay. That's, she did a good job with that. Anyway, um... So yeah, uh, take a look at past. It, they're all on Geek Lists. You can check them out. Um, where actually is it? Uh, this no, past one the, was. this past one was on the geek on a Geek List because it was on. I made it. It was virtual. You made it. Um, so yeah, check it out on BGG. It'll actually say the name of that charity, and if uh, if it's something that interests you, maybe you can donate to it. So anyway, yeah, it was a good. Uh, they raised lots of money for them. I know it's really good. It's really good. So. So, uh, yeah, they'll usually sell these. They'll usually have people line up ahead of time, and then you all go in as a mob, and you, is it $10 a game? Yeah. Every game in there, $10 a game. Yeah. Then, like the next day, whatever games didn't get bought, it's $5 a game. $5 a game. Then, it's whatever games were not bought, it's, what is it, 5 for $10. Yeah, or something. Yeah. And then it they just is, try to get rid then of they games. go then they go a buck a game. And when when you start getting the little small games that are usually like this, they'll usually go for a buck or two. Um though you I think you got this. I paid five. You paid five which for is it. Yeah. worth it. I it's mean it's totally it, worth it. Yeah, I think it's kinda of hard to get. I don't know. Dan Goon is your friend. Dan said that there's an English edition, but I, I haven't seen it, so um yeah, I Little card games get looked over in the library a lot, so you you might find some good stuff in there. Yes. Japanese well, actually, cards. they had them all just piled in a box. Yeah. In a cardboard box, yeah. and you had to sort of paw through it to yeah. get what you wanted. Well, the title is in English. Not sure who sells it. Yeah. Okay. What is the title of Six Nymphs? Six, what is Nymphs? Six Sex Nymphs. <laughs> what is it? What is Six Nymphs in English? Bull, oh, bull. Take five, I think. Take five, which is different from six? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Dan, uh, make Dan a mod. See? Because he can't put, oh, oh, he can't oh, put that's links. That's what the asterisks That's what the asterisks are. He's, oh. putting, he's trying to put a link and it won't do the link. Make oh. him a mod. How? Let's I see. don't remember. Trying. Oh, cancel. What nope. did I do? I'm breaking it. I'm breaking the, Let me try my phone. Mod user, go we'll go at it. All right, Wee. Dan, try it again. Did it work? I don't know. <laughs> he, number one, he hasn't heard you say it yet. Number two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. I don't know. How to Take get five. What's it called? Take a number. Take five. Oh, there you go. Okay. Take five and take a number. So this is take a number. That's what it is. Take a number. Hey, I need to put this in BG stats. <laughs> oh, holy crap! I won one. The slide has stopped. Ah, it was bound to happen. Hey, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. 